Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Here are the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of April. For a culture of peace and non-violence. We pray for the spread of peace and non-violence by decreasing the use of weapons by states and citizens. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather this morning to thank the Lord, to praise the Lord, to glorify the Lord for all that He has done for us, let us begin with the feeling of gratitude in our hearts. Gratitude for all the blessings that we have received. Gratitude for all the graces, for all the favours that He has bestowed on us. And let us spend a few moments in silence recollecting all the things that the Lord has done for us. Right from the time of birth till today, He has bestowed many graces, many favours on us. When we were faced with challenges in life, he was always there to help us, guide us and protect us. Apart from the graces that we have received, there also have been a number of gifts that the Lord has given us. Various talents, various abilities and we shall also thank the Lord for these things. There are also many people who have influenced us in so many ways. Let us also thank the Lord for the gift of these people in our lives who have helped us, who have molded us in various possible ways. At the same time, let us also offer to the Lord all our wishes, all our intentions and prayers and let us place at his feet all that which is troubling us, all that which prevents us from interacting with him and from spending quality time with him. As we spend these moments together with the Lord, we pray that we may be united with the Lord so that we may be able to have a proper conversation with him that we may be able 
to pour out a whole heart and soul being united with the lord and listening to what he has to tell us and let us close our eyes at this moment today let us praise the lord for he has woken us up this morning he has given us the gift of this new day a day which will help us to do many things a day which will present to us many opportunities to work for the betterment of others or opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others we also thank the lord for protecting us and guarding us all through the night he has given us good health of mind and body he has kept us in his love above all he has always been there guiding us at every step of the way at every moment his gaze is on us he loves us and never abandons us for that let us praise him let us thank him and let us glorify him and let us worship the lord with all our heart and soul my dear friends let this day be a day of blessings and joy in the name of the lord jesus christ and today we shall reflect on psalm 41 as usual we shall take a general overview of the psalm and then go step by step verse by verse trying to unearth what the psalm wants to reveal to us so psalm 41 is generally a psalm of david in which he expresses his trust in god and he asks for the mercy and healing from the lord now the psalm begins with a declaration of blessings upon those who consider the poor and the needy for they will be rescued in times of trouble by god david will then confess his own sins and he will ask god for his mercy and healing thus acknowledging that he too has sinned against god david then laments the betrayal of a close friend who has turned against him and has spread rumors against him he asks for god's mercy and protection and he declares his faith in god's justice to ultimately prevail over his enemies in the final verses of the psalm we see that david will express his confidence that god will uphold him and preserve him from all harm even in the midst of all troubles and the overall theme that is presented in this psalm is of the importance of having a faith and trust in god even in the face of adversity and betrayal now we see that david recognizes his own weakness and shortcomings but still he trusts in god's mercy and justice to ultimately prevail over his enemies this psalm will serve as a gentle reminder to all of us to remain steadfast in our faith and trust in god even in the most challenging moments of our lives and now let us go verse by verse into the psalm and try to see what the psalm wants to reveal to us the psalm begins happy are those who consider the poor the lord delivers them in the day of trouble the lord protects them and keeps them alive they are called happy in the land you do not give them up to the will of their enemies and therefore in a way the first two verses of psalm 41 invite us to be sensitive to the needs of others many times because of our busy schedule we tend to neglect the needs of others we are occupied only with our needs and our difficulties and here therefore the psalm begins with an invitation to consider the sufferings of those who are there around us the psalm continues 
The Lord sustains them on their sick bed. In their illness, you heal all their infirmities. As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me, heal me, for I have sinned against you. And here we see that David will ask pardon from the Lord, for he too has sinned. And therefore, this step of recognizing one's sin, of acknowledging that yes, I have sinned, I am a sinner, is very important when it comes to the whole process of reconciliation. The psalm continues, My enemies wonder in malice when I will die and my name perish. And when they come to see me, they utter empty words. While their hearts gather mischief, when they go out, they tell it abroad. All those who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They think that a deadly thing has fastened on me, that I will not rise again from where I lie. And therefore, when we are in difficult moments, all these things tend to happen in our lives. We tend to face these difficult challenges in life. Everything seems lost. And it is precisely in these moments that we need to place our faith and trust in the Lord. Even my bosom friend, in whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted the heel against me. But you, O Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. And here we see that David expresses his trust in the Lord. Even his friend, whom he trusted a lot, that friend betrayed David. But he says that the Lord will always be there. And that is why it is important to place our faith and trust in the Lord. And the psalm concludes by saying, But you have upheld me because of my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. And now let us spend a few moments in silence, reflecting on what we have heard in this psalm. There may be a particular line, there may be a particular thought that would have touched us, that would have appealed to us. Let us remain with that thought for a few moments and let us allow that thought to take root in us so that in a way we may be able to profit from this psalm, so that we may make this psalm personal and that we may be able to use it and integrate it in our lives. So as we spend these moments in silence reflecting on Psalm 41, we ask the Lord to give us the grace to place our faith and trust in Him so that whatever we do, it may be in and through Him and thus we may be able to radiate His love, goodness and joy to the world around us. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, 
O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy Divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in Purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the Divine Assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen.